Well, tip top of the evening, everybody, from beautiful Phil Bradley Field on a perfect night for baseball. It is regional semifinals night, and we are already halfway to a regional championship game on Saturday. Just moments ago, the Macomb Bombers completed a 5-0 win over Central Southeastern to book their passage into the championship game. Brett Taylor, complete game shutout, also had three hits and a couple of RBIs to add to the cause as well. Which brings us to game number two, the Battle of Hancock County, and it should be a dandy tonight, pairing West Hancock against the Illini West. I'm joined by Charger head coach Todd Porter. And Todd, first of all, your first showdown with West Hancock didn't go anywhere near how you would have liked it. They're, they're a tough opponent, aren't they? Yeah, they're awfully good. You know, have good pitching, good hitting up and down their lineup. And, uh, you know, they, you know they're, they're, they're awfully good. And, and hopefully, you know, I stressed to our kids last night, a big key to tonight's game will be jumping on them early. You know, hopefully we can get a lead and then, and and then make them worry a little bit, make, put a little stress on them, and so we'll see how it goes. You're starting to show some fangs. I know against Rushville, you kind of kind of got your groove going, didn't you? Yeah, we played a we, we 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 played well in all facets of the game against Rushville. You know, we had great pitching, played great defense, and and you know we hit enough to win, ran the bases well, and and it was a it was a good night for us. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Todd. We appreciate your time joining us again. Huge showdown. Highlights of the big showdown between Illini West and West Hancock coming up in just a bit tonight at 10 o'clock. Also, this is Wednesday, so it's Student Athlete of the Weekday. And tonight we're going to pay tribute to a young man who's going to be getting his football kicks right here in Macomb. Student Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Celtech. Better check Celtech today. When I was a little kid, I played soccer, and then when junior high came around, we started football in seventh grade, and the, we had the football. I mean, I just started kicking because I was so used to soccer, and I could kick pretty well, and the coach decided that that's what you're going to do. You're going to be a part of that. And that's how Central's Nathan Knuffman began his legacy on the gridiron. On the field, he's established himself as a triple threat, kicker, fullback, and linebacker, but still found time to make his mark in academics along the way, and motivation was never hard to come by. I think it was my brother, pretty much. He motivated me to do well. He was always up in his class, too, about top five, and he did very well in school, and he motivated me. He pushed me to do my best in the school, and I think that transferred over to help me be a good athlete as well. I mean, he didn't do any sports, but still, that didn't matter to me. He uh, motivated me to be the best I could be. Mix in his volunteer time with United Way, and it's all in a day's work for the future Leatherneck. I think it's important to me because I just like helping out in the community, you know, when I have free time, which is not too often, but when I do have free time, you know, I like helping people out. I mean, there's nothing better to see a smile on someone's face. And later this year, when Division I football comes calling, he'll be ready for a next level challenge. Um, right now is just preparing for uh, the whole, it's just a whole new level of college football. I mean, high school football, you know, you got one guy that's good, you know, but in college, they're all the same, you know, they're all two times better than everybody in high school. So, I mean, I've been just doing, working out and doing a lot of kicking and trying to do, get better. And it comes as no surprise that Nathan's intended field of study will help him continue to give back. As of right now, I'm looking at kinesiology, which is like athletic training and physical therapy and stuff like that. So I want to see people succeed on and off the field. And who better to guide them than somebody who has already done and will continue to do exactly that. Uh, the Leathernecks have themselves a class act kid for sure. We've got plenty of baseball and softball coming your way tonight at 10. We'll see you then, everybody.